Welcome to Pro Tips for Google Slides, where we'll look at some lesser known but useful tips for getting the most out of Google Slides to make this tool work for you. Let's look at some overall design tips for Google Slides. When you're in Google Slides, it's easy to add new slides anytime by clicking the plus icon in the corner. When you're adding new slides, click the drop down arrow to see a list of pre formatted layouts you can use. Try to stick to these to ensure good accessibility and formatting in your final presentation. When you're ultimately presenting your slides to an audience, there's some variation in screen sizes you might encounter, so it's good to think ahead a bit and plan for that. For example, if you're projecting your slides on a TV, a TV screen, you'll notice that most newer TVs have a widescreen format, while some older TVs have a much narrower screen. If you know in advance what kind of screen you'll be presenting on, you can account for that when designing your slides. Head to File and Page Setup to look at your slide's aspect ratio. By default, Google Slides should generally start in widescreen or 16:9 format. This is ideal for most TVs, projectors, and for online presentations over Google Hangouts and things like that. So if you're not sure what kind of screen you'll be presenting on, it's generally best to just leave this set to widescreen. But if you know for sure that you'll be pre presenting in an older, narrow TV, you might want to change this page setup to standard or 4:3 format. As you're adding to your presentation, you may find yourself feeling like you have a bunch of information to share on each slide, and you're worried that you'll forget all of it in the heat of the moment when you're presenting live to an audience. To help jog your memory, you may be tempted to add all of these juicy facts and information as large chunks of text on each slide, but stop yourself. You don't have to dump all of your notes and remarks as text onto the slides for your audience to see. Instead, keep your slides themselves clean and simple and use the notes panel below each slide to add reminders and information to jog your memory. When you're finished with your presentation, you can print a copy of your slides with your notes below that you can use when you're presenting, so you can have a paper copy if that's helpful. Your audience will see your nice clean slides and doesn't have to see the notes, but the notes will let you keep facts and information around to use when you need them. Now, what if you made your presentation, but you realize your colors feel a little off, or you want to tweak some of the look and feel of your presentation? For example, let's say I want to make all the slide titles maroon here. Head to Slide and Edit Master, and there you'll enter the Master Slide View. Here, any changes you make will affect the formatting across all of your slides. So if I change the heading here to be maroon, it will apply to all of the headings of the same style in that slide format across my presentation. Don't worry, changes you make here won't affect the actual content on your slides. That will all still be there when you exit out of this master slide view. But it will change the formatting consistently across your presentation.